Uh, London Bridge Station is a Victorian station. Uh, it's had a very long and tortured history. Um, it was built um, on a piecemeal basis throughout the Victorian times and has never really been renewed to make it a complete station. It's a very, very crowded station um, and is, is in definite need of some refurbishment. The project uh, really got going in the spring of 20, 2012 um, and that's when we started with uh, the design and the detailed construction uh, planning. Um, very complex project and the staging um, is, is required to maintain uh, operation of the UK's fourth busiest train station and massive flow of people in and out of the station every day and the staging is to take a slice of the station starting at the south, uh, take the existing tracks away an element of demolition to create the new concourse, take the old platforms and canopies away and then redevelop and reconstruct. And uh, a key element of that is the new platforms and the new platform canopies. We, we started that competitive process and we got a really strong offering from, from Prater and it, and it really showed that they, they understood our needs, uh, that there was a technical solution there, they'd got the experience, the, the capability to, to bring that solution and they got the right behaviour and the right people who could sit within our design team. We looked at the, uh, the scope of works and the complexity of the, uh, of the project and it was quickly evident to us that we needed to partner with a major structural steelwork um, specialist subcontractor. We, we chose Watson's because we'd uh, had a proven track record on similar complex network rail projects and in environments that were challenging and, uh, and matched up with the, uh, the risks and, uh, and program requirements and uh, technical and engineering issues that, that were evident in the initial information that we were furnished with. We've utilised 4D planning to demonstrate access and logistics strategies on a, on a number of complex network rail projects previously um, and we felt it was super critical on London Bridge to bring that experience uh, to the table. Um, it, it enabled us to, uh, to check the, the plants and equipment that we were intending to use in the track bed um, wasn't going to clash with adjacent, uh, with adjacent platforms or structures and uh, it, it meant that we were um, correct with the, the, the choice of, of, of kit that we intended to use on, on the project. Network Rail looks for um, collaborative partners in its supply chain. Um, and we realised from the outset um, that looking at a job of this nature, we, we could only do it as one team working together. There was never going to be the opportunity for um, individual teams setting up or doing something differently. We wanted one team that worked together and dealt with all the problems together all the way through. So it's a purely collaborative enterprise that Network Rail set off with the designers and Costain initially, then brought the rest of the supply chain on on the same ethos and that's how the only way that we can deliver this job.